team of hitmen meet him first with a pie in the face. Entrepreneur, business magnate, and philanthropist who co-founded Microsoft and is the founder of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the one and only Bill Gates. So this person donated most of its wealth and is still continuing to donate its most of its wealth to solve real world problems. But this person wasn't liked by the people back in the 90s. So why was this a case? A person who is donating most of its wealth wasn't liked by the people. So in very simple words, to tell you, Bill Gates used unethical ways and illegal ways in order to dominate Microsoft company into the market and it acquired many startups with unethical ways and to create the so known, so known today Microsoft monopoly. So let me cite you an example that proves how Bill Gates used unethical ways and that was the main thing that he wasn't liked by the people. So let's go back to 1993. Back then, the computer world wasn't known to the common people. And so was the case with internet. The computer was only used by the uh, technicians and computer researchers who used it to do enhancements in the computer industry only. It wasn't known to the common people. So, uh, after 1993, what happened was that the first ever worldwide web graphical browser was launched and this marked an important point in the history because it changed the situation of the market and uh, Microsoft company and Bill Gates ignored this first ever worldwide web browser they were still in dominating the market they were still busy in killing off their competitions that they didn't pay heed towards this first ever web browser after this, Anderson and his colleagues left the college and founded Netscape. Netscape thereafter wrote a browser that was launched as Netscape Navigator. And this marked a revolutionary point in the history because it changed the situation of the market. At the time Netscape was launched, its stock price skyrocketed. And uh, the founders uh, of uh, Netscape uh, navigator that were Anderson and his colleagues uh, quoted that it was the exact piece that every computer user wanted and Anderson also quoted that it wanted to reduce windows into the buggy drivers it wanted to reduce windows to a buggy set of device drivers underneath the browser which would be the new top layer that the people would see and interact with when Bill Gates finally got hold of the market and the world around him, he saw that internet was inter the potential of internet. It was massive, and it saw he saw the biggest competitor in front of him. He saw Netscape Navigator, and then Bill Gates. The first ever instinct of him was to either to buy Netscape or to kill it. So that's what Microsoft do, and has been doing. It's been killing its competition in order to construct itself as a monopoly. So my, uh, Microsoft held a meeting with Netscape that later on Bill Gates denied, but obviously the outcome of meeting uh, was unfavorable. So Microsoft wrote a letter to its all staff members to pull in the, all the resources of Microsoft, which was a giant, to form their own web browser. And this led to the formation of Internet Explorer. Thereafter, Microsoft used aggressive business tactics like they incorporated this web browser, Internet Explorer, into their PCs that were sold thereafter. And they created a default feature of uh, uh, Internet Explorer on their home page. So they directly cut off the ne uh, Netscape from the market. Although Bill Gates was successfully in destroying its competition that was Netscape with the help of uh, Internet Explorer that was hastily built. But later on, if we see that uh, Internet Explorer also uh, went down and the main reason and the core reason for this is that uh, Bill Gates continued to focus on dominating the market and it didn't, Bill Gates could, uh, didn't focus on the needs of customer and the needs of his customers. So thereafter, the more upgraded and updated browsers came into the market like Opera, Safari and uh, Firefox and eventually the Chrome browser that were more updated, more upgraded and more importantly they were in accordance to their customers. They were in accordance with their customers' 
taste and preferences they were according to their customers and that's eventually uh, that's why they succeeded and that led to the downfall of internet exposure eventually we learn here we learn here that no matter how big a monopoly is a company needs to always hear to its customers needs customers rights and always act according to their customer rather than focusing on